Welcome to the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 16, Enemy Types. So in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is taking our enemies, oops, and you'll see, let me do this every single time I start this up. And so right now we've got one enemy. It's, it's a red uh, square, and it, oops, and it doesn't really, it kind of just kind of wanders around. So what we want to do is we want to like learn how to update our enemies. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. So basically what we got to do is in our enemy class, so I'm going to go over here and click on my enemy class, and this is basically the code for the enemy. So what I want to do is I'm going to add something called self.type, and I'm going to have three different types of enemies. So I'm going to use random.choice, and I'm going to make a list, so I'm going to put an extra set of square brackets there, and I'm going to have a hunter type, I'm going to have a mine type, and I'm going to have a surveillance type. Now, I could make these shorter. I can make it H, M, or S, but I like to make my code a bit more readable. And don't forget the closing right parenthesis there. So watch what I do here. So when I create the enemy sprite, I'm going to have some code to deal with that. So I've created a random choice. I'm going to go if self.type, oops, type equals hunter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the self.color to red. And this is the normal. Okay. I'll say self.shape. They're already, we're going to give them all square for now. If I could change, I can make that random as well. And I'll leave it at that for now. And then I'm going to say L if. And as I like to say, I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm just going to copy this and paste that there. So we got hunter and we got mine. So I'm going to make the mines orange. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. L if. Now I could use elfs here, but we'll go ahead and use L if. And just a little side note, I could have actually created separate classes. I could have made a hunter class, a mine class, and a surveillance class. And that would work as well. Um, just kind of try to balance how you want your code to look, I guess. And I'm going to make this one pink so that we have different types. So let's go ahead and see if that's working. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run my game. And now I came up red, so let's kill that and see if it see what happens when we get to level two. Okay, okay, so there we got an orange one, so that's a good sign. Okay, and we kill that, and we got a pink one. And you'll notice on the radar it's also pink, which is kind of cool. And because it's using the same color. Okay, so now we got two reds and we got, or we got one red and we got some oranges. So we know that that part is working. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, but what we want to happen is we need a little bit more code so that they behave a little bit differently. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the update section of my code. Okay, and basically all this stuff here is gonna be the same if it's active. And what I got to do is in here, I'm going to add some code for the different types. So for example, if self.type equals hunter, oops. Uh, now here's some simple code. I, I could have done this a little bit nicer, but I'm going to try and change it a little bit more. Um, I'm going to say if self.x is less than player.x. So that means if the hunter is to the left of the player, I'm going to say self.dx plus equals 0.5. Okay. Um, does that make sense? If the self is to the left of the player, dx, actually dx should be plus because we want to go towards the player. Else, self.dx plus or minus equals 0 0.5. And I'm going to do the same thing with the y. So if self.y is less than player.y, self.dy plus equals 0 0.5. Actually, it should be 0 0.05. 0 0.5 will just it'll fly off the screen. You'll see in a second because we have to deal with that then. Um, and then else self dy 
minus equals 0 0.05. And you might need to change these numbers so that they're a bit more, you know, copacetic with your system speed. Now, we also have the other type. So L if self.type equals uh, a mine. Now, mines are going to sit there and not move. Okay, and then we'll, we can add some code later to play with those, I guess. But we'll just say self.dx equals 0 and self.dy equals 0. So we want them just to sit there. And then L if self.type equals surveillance. We'll say what we want to do with these guys is we want them to actually run away from the player. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then just change this. So we want them to go away from the player instead of towards the player. So they're going to actively avoid the player. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this and see what happens. Okay, so you can see this is a surveillance type and it is running from the player because the player is over here. And you notice it keeps bouncing into the wall. Now imagine, so, so, see now it's running away. So now of course you can see how the speed's getting a little bit too high and we'll, we'll fix that in a few minutes. But um, so I just want to see that we do have, oops, that. okay, so the red one, now you see how the red one went past the player but now let's see if it's coming towards it. So you can see now it's working its way over. And again, the code isn't perfect. And I, I, it's kind of intentional because I want I don't want it to go too close to the player because you'd never win. Um, but you see how it's kind of circling around the player and then finally it works into where the player is. Um, now you see, I think, there's, I think there was a problem with the collisions. I, I thought the collisions were working better for the, the shooting the gun or shooting the thing, but we might have to address that one later. But you can see how it's getting a little bit fast. So why don't we go ahead and just kind of try to fix that one uh, real real quickly. So uh, did I set that up in the Sprite? Let me check the Sprite class here. It's been a while. I've been very, very busy this past week. So if you're watching this as I'm doing it, um, yeah, so you can see here there's no maximum. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and set self.max uh, dx equals, um, let's see here. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try five. I, again, I'm, I'm not really sure what a good number is for this. Self.max dy equals five. So basically you want to say that that's the maximum speed that this, this object can go. So what I'll do is in my, uh, where's that here, in my enemy class for now, we could do it in the other, we could do it in some of the other classes as well, but let's try this. And then let's go ahead and deal with, let's speed up, we're not, let's make sure. Okay, so let's set, you know, max speed. So I'm going to say if self.dx is greater than self.maxdx, then self.dx equals self.maxdx. That'll limit the speed to whatever that number was that we put there. L if self.dx, now this is where it gets a little tricky, is less than self.negative max, oops, uh, negative self.max dx and I say self.dx equals negative self.max dx. Okay, so what that does is if it's moving to the left, if dx is negative, uh, it'll deal with that case. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm hoping this works. I should probably test it first, but let's go ahead and put y's in there. And again, the, the five, you know, you might want to change that. We also make that as a variable, like give, a, give certain types of maximum speed. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of options we can do here. Now again, I don't know if five was a good number. We'll have to kind of play around with it here. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And that's a mine, so it's not moving anywhere. Let's go ahead and kill that. Okay, so, okay, so you can see the red ones. They're moving, I think that's not too, too fast. I think that's a pretty decent speed. Oops. And let's see here. So you can see how they are coming around a little bit. And so the so all the reds will converge on the player like that one just did. And the pinks will run away. So you can see how they're kind of going away from the player. 
And we could, we could make this a little bit more advanced. We could do some stuff with radars and things like that. But let's go ahead and leave that just the way it is for now. Uh, and the other thing that I think I did in my code, that's one of the things I forgot. Um, actually, I tell you what, we'll leave it there. I think that's a good, good place to stop this one. So you get the idea. And this is, this is also the same way that we can actually make a boss. So what we could do is we can later create a boss. And we say, OK, it's a boss. And it has these attributes. Okay, so, so the enemy, so what we did is we came up with three different types. And when we create it, we just give it a random type, either a hunter, a mine, or surveillance. Hunters are red, mines are orange, and surveillance is pink. And if it is a hunter, it will go towards the player. It will try to find the player. If it is a mine, it will sit there with no speed and just kind of wait. Now we could add like so it explodes at some point. There's a lot of different things we could do. And then if it's a surveillance type, it runs away from the player. And then also we had to set a maximum speed so that it doesn't end up going way too fast. We should probably put this code uh, in the uh, player as well, but we can, we can add that later. But yeah, so that is that. That was number 16. So now we have multiple enemy types. Subscribe for updates. Keep on coding.